G'day everybody, it's Matt here, and today I want to show you how to get started with the Crypto.com DeFi wallet. So, how to actually set it up so you can start using it. Before we jump into that though, I just need to say this is not at all financial advice and is purely for entertainment purposes. But nevertheless, I hope you find it helpful and that you enjoy it. Now, to set up the Crypto.com DeFi wallet, you need the app, so uh, you can get that on your phone, both on Android and on the Apple App Store. So go grab that and then come with me into the app on your phone. So here we are, we're in the Crypto.com DeFi Wallet app. I'm on an iPhone, uh, but it looks pretty similar on Android as well. We've got two options here. We can either create a new wallet or import an existing wallet. Now, because the Crypto.com DeFi wallet is compatible with Ethereum, it means that you can import an Ethereum compatible wallet from elsewhere, like MetaMask, Trust Wallet, and so on. For the purposes of this video though, I'm gonna assume you need to create a wallet. So let's click that blue, create a new wallet button. Run through and agree to the legal, you should really check those terms of service and the privacy policy yourself and make sure you are happy and able to. There are clauses in there about certain regions where you are not allowed to use the app uh, and there are a number of other things in there to be aware of. Once you've done that, tick to say you've read them and that you're agreeing and accepting them and then click that blue continue button down the bottom. To set up your wallet, you need to protect it. You need to set up a passcode. So first things first, click that create passcode button and it'll prompt you to set a six digit pin. So go ahead and put that in, then confirm it. And that's the first step done. Now there are two more options to secure your wallet further and I recommend doing the two-factor authentication. You can also enable Touch ID. To do two-factor authentication, just tap on that button. Now it'll bring up this QR code that you can use to import into your multi-factor authentication app, whether it's Google Authenticator, uh, LastPass Authenticator or something else. I'm a real fan of LastPass Authenticator personally because it backs up my authentication codes. And by the way, if you are interested in the LastPass app, uh, it is free, but should you choose to upgrade, check out my referral link down in the description. I personally like the extra peace of mind of having my authentication codes backed up securely. Not everyone would, obviously. Any backup, there's always a risk that there could be a security vulnerability and they get hacked. But for me personally, that's a risk I'm okay with. You should make your own decisions on that. But I'm gonna go through using the LastPass Authenticator to set this up. To get this two-factor authentication set up, I'll just click that copy button to copy the code because I can't really scan it from my phone. So we'll copy it. All right, so I've put up LastPass Authenticator I'll click that plus button down in the bottom right corner and we can either scan a barcode or enter the code manually. I'm gonna enter it manually, put in the key box. That's where we're putting in our code that we just copied. And we'll also wanna type in the name of the service. So I'll call it the crypto.com DeFi wallet. Now I don't need an account for this. And that's it, we can save our QR code and we can see it's now set up here. It's generating a code for us. And we should be able to use that now to get set up in the Crypto.com uh, DeFi wallet app. So take note of the code and we'll head back to the Crypto.com app. And we want to put it in here. There we go. And that's two-factor authentication now enabled and set up. I'm going to skip the Touch ID, but that's up to you. Once we've configured those protections, we can click that Done button up in the top right. And that'll take us forward to uh, backing up our actual wallet details. Right now it's explaining what a recovery phrase is. And this is really important because you need this to recover your wallet in the event of something happening like losing your phone. It's the master private key to your wallet and the assets that are within it. Um, if you lose this recovery phrase and you lose access to your wallet, there's nothing you can do to gain access to your funds again. So make sure you keep it somewhere really safe. Progressing to the next screen now, this is showing us our recovery phrase. So our recovery phrase will be a 12 word phrase. And we can see at the top here, we've got 12 boxes to represent that. So when we click reveal my recovery phrase, it will show us what's in all 12 of those boxes. Now we need to know what each one of those words is. We need to store it in the order 
that they are listed and in the same case. So if it's lowercase, then we need to store it all in lowercase, etc. So it's up to you where you store it. Uh, most secure place is usually somewhere that's offline, whether it is a piece of paper that you can store somewhere safely, but I always recommend having at least three backups in different ways. So you might have a physical copy. You might also have a digital copy that's stored encrypted somewhere, let's say in a VeraCrypt encryption drive. Perhaps you use OneDrive and with OneDrive, you've got access to the personal vault, which is an encrypted locker within your OneDrive. Now, up to you and your security risk on that. There's plenty of people that'll say, definitely don't store anything online. But if, if that's one of the most secure means of storage that you're comfortable with, then that's a much better option than leaving it just straight in your OneDrive folder, for example. At the end of the day, make sure wherever you store it, it is as secure as possible, safe, and that there is a backup somewhere else, ideally more than one. So when you're ready, click reveal my recovery phrase. The wallet will now take you through each word. Swipe across to reveal each one. As you go, it'll highlight each of these boxes, letting you know that it's been done. The words will appear in the middle here between these arrows. All right, so go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do mine now. I'll be back in just a moment. You won't even know I was gone. And I'm back. You didn't even know I was gone, did you? Once you've done that, you'll be taken to this screen where you can confirm your recovery phrase. You're putting in some of the words from it here to confirm that you have recorded it all, you've got the words in the right order. So for me, it's asking for the second, fifth, sixth, and seventh words. Go through, fill that out. If it's the wrong word, it'll prompt you, it'll say, hey, this is wrong, try again, make sure you've got the right thing. Once you've filled in all of your words, you can go ahead and click that blue continue button. There you go, you've confirmed your backup. Make sure you keep that recovery phrase safe. The Crypto.com DeFi Wallet app provides some tips. So if you want, you can click those C tips there. Within the security tips, you've got some beginner ones. So put your recovery phrase in a bank vault or safety deposit box, intermediate. Split it into different pieces and store it in different locations. Or even if you keep them all with you, just store them physically in different places around your, your house or different bank deposit boxes, etc. And then the most advanced is to simply memorize your recovery phrase. This is in a most ideal world, but there's obviously costs with some of this. Well, maybe not with memorizing it, but that does come with the risk that you'll forget it. Splitting it up obviously comes with the risk of forgetting where all the pieces are and beginner, even putting in a bank vault or safety deposit box, you've got to pay for that. There's a risk something happens to the bank. Granted, it's probably a pretty slim risk, but it is, it is possible, right? All of these things do come with inherent risks. Really, at the end of the day, it's up to you and your risk aversion. I recommend keeping it as securely and safely backed up as absolutely possible, especially if you're planning on putting uh, a lot of crypto into this wallet. Just remember, at the end of the day, it's a non-custodial wallet. That means no one else can help you get back into it. You're in complete control of it, and you're also in complete control of the keys. So if those keys are gone, you can't get back in. There's no way around it. That's it. So keep them safe. We're done there. That's my little spiel. Click the blue done button. And we can now give our wallet a name. This is the same spot we would go to if we'd skipped those tips. It just brings us straight to here. I'm just gonna leave it at the default, my wallet, and click enter, and we can save that. And we're now in. We are into the crypto.com DeFi wallet. So now that we've got the wallet set up, we're into it. The thing that you're probably gonna to wanna to do if you're using the crypto.com app or exchange is we wanna actually connect it to our crypto.com app account. So if you scroll down on this home screen, you'll see we've got a button there, connect to crypto.com app. If you don't have that button, you could also go up to the settings in the top left. So that's the cog right up in the top left of the screen. And you should have a connect to crypto.com app button in here as well. So if you click one of those, it'll then take you to connect to the app. This allows you to easily transfer funds between the two platforms. Just remember that any transfers actioned from the DeFi wallet have fees associated with them. Just scroll down, we've got a couple of boxes here to tick. First one is confirming we understand and accept that by connecting the crypto.com app to our crypto.com DeFi wallet, that we're associating our crypto.com identity with the DeFi wallet. If you wanna to be totally anonymous, connecting it is not going to give you that. That is sharing your identity basically between the two platforms, which means the crypto.com app knows who you are in the crypto.com DeFi wallet space. And then the second thing here is basically confirming that 
we or I, the person who is doing this, is the beneficial owner of both the Crypto.com app account and the Crypto.com DeFi wallet. And that I'm using them for myself and I'm not using them for any third party or anything like that. So tick that, it's got down the bottom here, we're connecting the name of our wallet. So this is just my, my wallet. Once we're ready, click that blue, connect my wallet button. So it's taken us to the Crypto.com website and we need to enter our app account email to authenticate. Once we do that, we'll receive an email confirming with us that we want to connect the two. So just remember, this is the email address that's associated with your crypto.com app account. If you don't have a crypto.com app account, you will need one to do this connection. Uh, if you don't, just head down to the description and there's some referral links there where you'll get bonus CRO once you meet the staking requirements in the app and also for the exchange if that's of interest to you. Otherwise, continue on. Uh, click that send connection email once we've put the email address in and we'll receive something in our inbox. So in our inbox, we'll receive an email that looks something like this one. Up the top, it'll have your anti-phishing code if you have specified one. So and then we've got this blue connect button down the bottom. Click that blue connect button and it will jump you over to the crypto.com website where you will enter your crypto.com app passcode. Now, before you do this, Check the URL at the top. Make sure it's actually an auth.crypto.com URL. There's so many scams getting around. So double check that. Make sure it is auth.crypto.com. If it is not a crypto.com URL, definitely do not enter your passcode, okay? So double check that. Don't just blindly enter it. Always, always double check, okay? Now, put your passcode in and click the blue continue button. Now we're almost done here you know, authenticating our connection. Basically, we're associating or giving permission for the public address to be shared between the two platforms, okay? So click authorize and launch DeFi wallet and that will then prompt you to switch apps. So we'll allow it and open it. So let's jump us back into the DeFi wallet, enter our passcode and we now have this prompt to say we've successfully connected our wallet to the crypto.com app. So that just makes it easier to transfer funds between the two. So click that blue got it button and we no longer have that here in our list of options. Now you don't need to connect the crypto.com app to the crypto.com DeFi wallet if you don't want to, but it does make it easier when it comes to transferring your crypto between the two. So that's it for me for now. I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure you like it and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this from me. And remember, if you lose your recovery phrase, you lose your coins. So keep it safe and don't let anyone else access it, all right? It's on you. Have an awesome month and I will catch you next time. Bye.